everyone, it's Cindy from junkart.com and I'm here today to show you how to create this fun little tag book with some of Robin Marie Smith's products. So let's get started. Okay guys, um, you are going to need some shipping tags which are easy to find. You're also going to need some of Robin Marie's Art Pops and I'm specifically using the Wait For Me collection. I'm also going to be using the Wait For Me Collection stickers from Robin Marie and then the Dream Thicket rubber stamp sheet which has some super cute stamps on it. I'm going to be using a few stamps from that sheet. I'm also going to be using some other supplies along the way but I will mention those as we work. Okay, to get started, we're going to work on the shipping tags, and I have got a craft sheet on my table. Um, you can get those from Ranger Ink. I'm also going to be using the Distress Oxide inks, and all I'm doing is kind of smushing a few colors down on the craft sheet, and so I'm using a pink, an orange, and a yellow um, in this first um, section. There will be links to these supplies below the video. Once you get your colors um, kind of smushed beside each other, you want to spritz it just with um, water. And so I've got a bottle and I'm spritzing the sheet. And what that does is kind of activate the ink and it wets it. And then I'm taking the tag and just putting it down in the color straight down and lifting it. And look at all that pretty color that it picks up. I'm getting another tag and doing the same thing. It's going to do a little bit different um, look just because there's not as much ink on the sheet, but be sure and try to use your ink. Then take one of Robin Marie's cards and color the back side of it. And I'm going to put it down a couple of times just to pink, pick up some of that extra ink. And you can kind of just look at it and place it on your sheet where you want. And then I'm taking a sheet of deli paper because I use deli paper in my work a lot for collage. And I'm just picking up that extra ink and I'm just going to set that aside because that'll be something I can use later in another project. Then you'll want to um, clean off um, your craft sheet because we don't want to mix the colors up. And just set those um, first tags aside to dry. So now I'm going to use three different colors in the blue and green family. And I'm using a darker blue, a lighter blue, and again, I'm just kind of smushing the ink onto the craft sheet beside each other. Try not to mix the pad into the other inks because I don't want the blue into the green and vice versa. Then you'll want to spritz it again and do the same process as we did with the pink and orange, just lifting the ink off of the sheet. And as you can see here, I accidentally put it on the printed side of the art pop card, but that's totally fine. It just added a little extra color to it. So you can do that as well, but be sure and get color on the white side because this is going to be one of your little pages in your tag book. And then again, picking up the extra color off of your craft sheet so you don't waste any of the ink and you can use that later in collage. So now you'll want to get all your tags together and you'll want to kind of get them dry or you can let them dry by your by themselves but I'm using a um, heat tool from Ranger and I'm just getting all that ink really dry before I go on to the next step. OK, 
Okay, now we're going to repeat the same process that we just did with the pinks and oranges and yellows and then again with the blues and greens. And this time we're going to do the back side of all the tags. So we'll have color on both sides um, because those are going to become pages in your book. So go ahead and color the other side of your tags just like we did in the first part of the video. Now that we have all our tags dry, um, you want to pull out your sticker tape and we are going to start putting our book together. And so just spread your tags out, kind of decide which tags you want to use together. And right now I'm working on trying to decide what's going to be the front and the back of the tag book. So I decided to put a blue and a pink together. One will be the front, one will be the back. And now I'm just measuring um, the sticker tape up against the tag to get an approximate length of the tape that I need. Um, it doesn't have to be exact. So I just made a pencil mark and I'm cutting across the sticker tape um, so I can use the tape to put the tag, to put the pages of the tag book together. So you want to put your tags um, together but you don't want to butt them right up next to each other. You want to leave just a little bit of space in between the tags as you're putting the tape on. And what this does is just leave room um, for the tag book to sh open and shut. And because you're going to have a few more pages put in between these two, um, you want to keep a little bit of space um, available for all of that to go in there. And so you just want to hear the sticker tape down really good and then you're going to um, turn it over and you're going to do the same thing. So you're going to sandwich the sticker tape um, together so the sticky um, is not exposed. And then you just want to fold it and crease it and make sure your tape um, has a crease in it where you're going to fold it shut. And then you're just going to keep working um, with your art pop pages and your tag pages just adding them into the book. And so I'm going to use an art pop card for my next page and that's what I'll continue to do through the book. I'm going to alternate a tag and an art pop and then a tag and an art pop. And um, the art pop card is a little shorter than the shipping tag so I'm measuring again um, to get a piece of tape that's the right length to put this into the book. So you'll just want to mark a few of those because um, you'll need several. And what you're going to do from here is you're just going to kind of repeat the process and you're going to lay your um, art pop down and butt it up, not butt it up, but lay it just down on top of your tags. And again, leaving a little bit of space um, for that tag to fold and the pages to fold. Now, you, you're going to be covering up some of your tape that you've already put down, but that's okay. It's just going to kind of reinforce um, the spine of the book, and you'll just want to crease it and continuing um, adding tape on both sides. And just make sure your tape is stuck down really good and fold your page back and forth. And then you're just going to continue to work through your book the same way, alternating um, tags and art pops and putting tape on both sides. So I'll just let you watch me do that.
Okay, I'm back with all the pages in the book, and now we're going to start decorating the pages. Um, we're going to add more color, some collage, some more stickers, and what I'm using here is just some vintage paper that I have. I have a huge stash of vintage paper, so I'm going to kind of give this a little bit of a vintage vibe um, as I work through the pages. Um, so gather you some paper and it doesn't have to be vintage you can use scrapbook paper or any type of collage paper you have on hand and just um, start working through your book so I'm adding some to the front I'm going to continue to work through the book adding a little bit of collage here and there and so I'll just let you watch me do that So I've added vintage paper to um, multiple pages in the book and now I'm moving on to the Art Pop stickers. So I'm just going to start working my way through the book just like I did with the vintage paper and um, adding some of the circles, some of the tape, um, just in various places and I'm just working kind of quickly and not thinking about it too much. I've gotten um, stickers added and now we're, I'm ready to add some stamping so I picked three different stamps to work with from the dream thicket stamp sheet and I'm just inking up the stamps I've put it on an acrylic block with a little piece of double-sided tape um, this circle that I'm using is a great just element to add and it just adds a little more interest and texture so all these layers that we're adding um, are just adding to the visual interest of the book. And you want to try to overlap some of your elements um, just so they're kind of touching and kind of interact with each other. And with your stamping, the Archival Ink from Ranger is a great one that I use all the time. And then you can just heat set it and dry it with um, your heat gun. And so I'm just going to continue to switch between the stamps and work my way through the book. Okay, now we're ready to add just a few more details and some of my favorite um, pencils to add detail with is the Stabilo pencils. And so here I'm using um, what's called the Stabilo Woody. They're bigger pencils. Um, you can use them dry or you can activate them with water um, to make them have a watercolor look. And then the Skinny Black pencil is also a Stabilo pencil and I use it in the same way. It can be used dry or wet. And all of these pencils are great um, for adding just extra detail to your work. Um, so I am gonna continue to add detail with these pencils throughout the book and let you watch me while I work.
Okay, so we've added um, accents with our colored pencils, and now I'm moving on to one more thing to add detail, and I'm using acrylic white ink. So you can use acrylic white ink, you can use a white gel pen, um, a white paint marker, so just get out whatever you have on hand that's white and continue to add um, accents and detail to your pages. So we're almost done and I'm going to do a couple of more quick things to finish up the tag book and right now I have a vintage milk cap and I have a collection of those and I think they're really fun to use in your mixed media art. They just add some interest and they have neat graphics on them. Um, so I'm just stapling that on um, to the front, kind of like a button. And then I'm going to add some twine um, through one of the holes of the tags. You could certainly decorate those holes um, with a ton of ribbon and twine if you like that look. But I'm just going to do one for now, um, and it's just baker's twine, so you can use um, anything you have on hand. And then I have some vintage seam binding that I'm going to tie around um, the book to keep it closed. and. You could get fancy with your closure, but I'm just wrapping it around and tying it in a bow. So there you have it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this tag book. It's super fun and easy to make. Um, you could use it as a quote book. You could just use it as a visual inspiration book. Um, you could add photos to it. So I hope you've had fun, and I hope you enjoy creating this fun project. Thanks for being here. See you later.